Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. I know I've been gone for quite some time and I guess a lot of you were actually wondering whether I am still playing GTA. But now I'm back here to assure you that I actually am still playing GTA, although not so often. And the first thing I'm going to do today is to confirm that gift cards to friends is still working. So I won't go through all details of the glitch over here. I'm just going to skim through this really quick just to show you that the job that gives you off the radar still works and that gift cards to friends is still a thing. In addition to that, in this video, you will also see that the cars will save and this is on PC, not console. So you see the way I parked my MOC and my Mark II oppressor, these are the things that you need. You will also need to prepare some uninsured street cars in two different garages and one of them has to be an apartment garage. Now again, for full details, please do refer to the link in the description and it will bring you to the detailed tutorial. Now before I move on, just a quick message over here. If you intend to purchase anything or any services from extramods.com, I have code for you right here that will give you 5% off. You don't have to buy if you don't want to, but just remember this coupon code when you do. So continuing on, I have a friend in a close friend session and he is in a different targeting mode. This is also one of the requirements for this glitch as this glitch is not solo. Okay, now I'm just going to make my way to my penthouse where we can start this off. Once you're in the penthouse, the first thing to do is to join your friend in that close friend session. And since your friend is in a different targeting mode, you will receive two alerts. So you have to do this before proceeding with the rest of the glitch. Now on the first alert, press enter to accept. And on the second alert, just press escape to decline that. This will land you back where you were. Now move into the job circle and face the exit door. What you're gonna do next is to select the music locker and the moment you press enter on that, you'll have to spam E very quickly. Now if you're successful, you will see yourself parachuting down from the sky or maybe I should say dropping through the map. So just keep parachuting down all the way until you reach the ground. Once you're on the ground, you should be off the radar as no one will be able to see you, not physically nor on the map. And for now, it's a good time to invite your friend in so that he can set up his MOC and the car that he will be giving to you. So now for the next step, you will have to find a street vehicle and park it at the back of your MOC. You can park it in the same way that I did and then move over to your Mark II oppressor. So at this step, you will have to go into your settings and set V-Sync to half or for those of you who know how to, just reduce your FPS to below 30 and the next step will be guaranteed to work. Next, get onto your oppressor and fly it to the top of the uninsured car where you'll have to sort of balance it on top and then press E to enter the MOC. If you do this right, your screen will blink once, your car will disappear, and all you have to do is dismount your oppressor, move away from the MOC, and then send your oppressor back to the garage. What you're going to want to do next is to call in an uninsured street car from one of your garages, and leave it here for your friend to destroy. Meanwhile, I'll just wait for my friend to set up his MOC, and the car that he will be giving to me. So here my friend has parked his MOC like this and the car that he will be giving to me is in the parking lot as well. I'll just get into the car and my friend will destroy my uninsured street car. My friend will then choose to enter his MOC alone and drop me an invite into his MOC. Now when the invite comes, just select that from your phone and leave it like this. And what you will have to do next is to press and hold P and the moment you release P, you press enter very quickly to accept the invite. 
If you did it wrong, it will appear like this. Let's try it again. If you did it correctly, you will be in a black screen with the pause menu open. From here, just go to online and then find a new session, which would preferably be an invite only session. At this point in time, tell your friend not to leave his MOC until you fully load into the new session. Once you're in the new session, just open up your interaction menu, go to vehicles and request for personal vehicle. If you did the glitch correctly, you will see that you have already gotten your friend's car. Now in order to save this, you will have to drive this into an apartment garage, which has to be full and contain at least one uninsured streetcar that you will save over. I'm just going to save time and do a quick job teleport over to my apartment instead of driving there all the way. So the garage that I'm going to drive into is Eclipse Apartment 3 and I'm just going to call the mechanic to show you that I indeed have an uninsured streetcar that's already inside the full garage. So I have a Stania and an Emperor and they're both uninsured streetcars which I grabbed off the street. So the only thing left to do here will be to drive into that garage and choose to save over any of those vehicles. Choose the garage, accept the alert, and then when the menu pops up, just choose to save over the uninsured streetcar that you already have. Once you've done that, the glitch is already done and the car is yours. The next step that I'm going to do is not necessary, but I have to do that in order to show you that the car has saved permanently. So I'm just going to go into story mode and then come back online. So here I am back online and I'm going to go straight into the garage that I saved the car in and that would be Eclipse Apartment 3. And of course the car is still there. So again to everyone, this is still working, it's not been patched yet. So if you intend to give cars away or you're receiving cars, this method will still work very well. Now if you need all the exact details, just go to the link in the description where there is a full tutorial on how to do this. To those who have still been following my channel for the past few weeks, thank you for your patience and I hope to be uploading more content very soon. Do remember that I have a live stream coming up tomorrow on Sunday where I'll be showcasing and proving that some of the glitches are still working. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the live stream.